Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be learning about the associative property of addition. The associative property says that if we have a group of numbers that we want to add together, like five plus two plus three, we can add them in any order that we want. If we wanted to add five plus two first, we can. If we wanted to add two plus three first, we can. Even if you wanted to add five plus three first, that would be okay too. I suggest adding the numbers together that make your life the easiest. So if you know a combination of numbers that when you add together, you know the sum, that's what you should do first. So for this example, five plus two plus three, I know that two plus three equals five. And then I'm just going to add 5 plus 5. And I know that 5 plus 5 equals 10. So the associative property of addition is kind of your friend. It makes adding numbers easier. Let's take a look at the worksheet, train addition, the associative property. Read the directions and the information up top and get started right away. When we add three numbers, we can add them in any order we want. And the total will still be the same. For example, if one plus two plus three equals six, then three plus one plus two also equals six. Let's read the directions now. Are the equations on the two trains equal or not? Check the correct answer. So let's take a look at our first example. On our first train, we have four plus six plus one. And on our other train, we have one plus four plus six. Now, if the associative property states that it doesn't matter what order we add the numbers in, well, if all the numbers are the same, we know the sum is going to be equal. So let's first make sure that all the numbers in both equations are the same. I have a four on this train and a four on this train. I have a six on this train and a six on this train. A one on this train and a one on the lip and a one on this train. So I'm beginning to think that these sums are going to be equal. But just to be sure, let's add up our numbers to make sure that the sums are equal to each other. Remember, we can order Remember, we can add in any order that we want. So let's add the numbers together that are easiest for us. So I know that 4 plus 6 makes a 10. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Then I can just add 10 plus the 1 left over, and 10 plus 1 equals 11. Now let's check the second train. Again, I'm going to add 4 plus 6 together first, even though they're not the first two numbers. 4 plus 6 equals 10. And again, I can just add 1 plus 10. And I know that 1 plus 10 equals 11. These two trains are equal. Let's check out the next example. In our first train in the next example, we have 7 plus 2 plus 3. In the second train, we have 3 plus 2 plus two. Remember the associative property says that if the numbers are the same, you can add in any order that you want. So let's see if the numbers are the same. In the first train, we have seven. And already I see that there's no seven in the second train. So I'm beginning to think that these two trains are not equal. I see a two and a three in the first train, and I see a two and end of three in the second train. But the difference is, there's a two in this train and a seven in this train. We can add these numbers together to be sure, but I'm already thinking that these two trains are not equal to each other. First, I'm gonna add seven plus three. Like the associative property says, I can add in any order that I want. And I know that seven plus three makes a 10. Seven plus three equals 10. I can add the remaining two, and 10 plus two equals 12. My first train has a sum of 12. My second train, I'm gonna add three plus two together. I know three plus two equals five. I'll add the remaining two, and five plus two equals seven. 12 is not the same number as seven, so our two trains in the second example are not equal to each other. Let's take a look at our third example. In our third example, the first train is five 
plus 4 plus 8. The second chain has 4 plus 9 plus 5. Let's see if we have any similar numbers. Well, I have a 5 in the first train and a 5 in the second train. I have a 4 in the first train and a 4 in the second train. But our last numbers are 8 and we have a 9 in the second train. Again, I'm starting to think these two trains are not going to be equal to each other because they have different numbers. But let's add these trains up and let's see if the sums are equal. First, I'm going to add 5 plus 4. When I add 5 plus 4, I know the answer is 9. Now I have to add 9 plus 8. I can count up to find the sum of 9 plus 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 9 plus 8 is 17, so the sum of the first train is 17. If I add the second train together, if I add the numbers on the second train together, I'll start with 4 plus 5, because it doesn't matter what number I add the numbers in, and 4 plus 5 is 9, just like in my first train. But now I have to add 9 plus 9. And already I think these sums are going to be different, because I see an 8 in the first train and a 9 in the second train. But let's add just to be sure. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. The sum of the second train is 18, and even though I added in the, and even though I added in the order that made the addition easier, these two trains still have different sums. These two trains are not equal to each other. Let's check out our last example. In our last example, the first train has the add ends 1 plus 7 plus 3. And our second train has the numbers 3 plus 7 plus 1. Let's review the numbers and see if they're the same. In the first train I have a 1, and in the second train I have a 1. In the first train I have a 7, and in the second train I have a 7. And in the first train there is a in the first train there is a 3, and in the last train there is a 3. So these numbers are exactly the same. They might not be in the same order, but remember, the associative property tells you it doesn't matter what number, it doesn't matter what order you add the numbers in, as long as you add them up. So on my first train, I'm going to add 7 plus 3, because I know 7 plus 3 makes a 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. I'll add the remaining 1, and 1 plus 10 gives me a total or a sum of 11. I bet you my sum in the second train is also going to be 11, but let's add just to be sure. First, I'm going to start with 7 plus 3 again, because I know 7 plus 3 equals 10. I'll add my 10 to my leftover 1, and 10 plus 1 equals 11. Just as I thought, these thumbs are exact. These sums are exactly the same. These two trains are equal to each other. Remember, boys and girls, that the associative property tells you that you can add the numbers in any order that you want. Just make sure that when you're combining numbers in any order you want, you're adding numbers that make your life easier, not harder, like making tens or other friendly numbers. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.